manufacture of nitric acid by Oswald process. So commercially we are preparing nitric acid by Oswald's process which is based on the catalytic oxidation of ammonia by atmospheric oxygen. So in the first step here we are passing ammonia and oxygen, ammonia and oxygen to catalyst, catalyst chamber. So when you pass here, here platinum gas which will platinum which is reacted as a catalyst. This chamber is at 600 degree Celsius. That time ammonia reacted with the oxygen it will give nitric oxide. So oxidation of ammonia is carried out in a chamber which is maintained at 600 degree Celsius. This chamber contains platinum as a catalyst. Therefore, an ammonia oxygen react with oxygen in presence of platinum at 600 degree Celsius give nitric oxide and water. So next step, now this nit nitric oxide temperature will be reduced uh, when we pass it to cooling chamber. This is a cooling chamber which is at a temperature of 60 degree Celsius. So next step we are passing this uh, nitrogen, nitric oxide to oxidizing chamber where the temperature of oxidizing chamber is 50 degree Celsius. So here mm, nitric oxide react with the oxygen form nitric di nitrogen dioxide. So then this nitrogen dioxide which will be passed through absorption tower where which will react with the water and form diluted HNO3 that is diluted nitric acid. So nitric oxide which is obtained very hot in order to reduce the temperature it is passed through the cooling chamber where the temperature of nitric oxide reduced to 60 degree Celsius. Nitric oxide after cooling transferred to oxidizing chamber which is maintained at 50 degree Celsius where it is oxidized to nitrogen dioxide. So next nitrogen dioxide. So this nitrogen dioxide from the chamber mixed with the water to obtain nitric acid. This nitric acid obtained is very dilute. So it is recycled in the absorption chamber. So that the more, nit uh, more nitrogen oxide is absorbed. So after this it becomes 68% concentrated. So this 68% concentrated nitric acid. So here nitrogen dioxide which is react with the water it will give HNO3 that is nitric acid and NO. So to increase the so this one is diluted one to increase the concentration of nitric acid the vapor of nitric acid we are passing through the concentrated H2SO4. Already we are discussed in the physical property of H2SO4 which uh, this sulfuric acid which will act as a dehydrating agent. So here in this reaction this the concentrated sulfuric acid is there no it will absorb the water from nitric acid and make the nitric acid more concentrated one. So to remember the reaction so here three steps are there in the preparation of nitric acid. So in the first step we are taking ammonia. So first step we are taking ammonia and in the second step we are taking nitrogen, nitric oxide and in the third step we are considering nitrogen dioxide. So in the product part, so here mine our aim is to preparation of nitric acid. So here our aim is this reactant, second step reactant is a first step product therefore this is NO and here second step product will be third step reactant therefore it is NO2. So here we need oxygen. So oxygen needed means we have to react with the oxygen. 
so when we react with two times oxygen now remaining n and o is given now remaining h2 and o same way in the second step here only oxygen extra oxygen is there therefore it will be react with the oxygen and in the third step here one is HNO3 so we need H so H needed means it is H2O and one more product is this one first step product that is NO so this is a way to remember the chemical reaction 